everybody video here for you today let's go down to lake Catan, guatemala here interesting discovery large mayan city was found here here's the area where these ruins were found under the ground they found this by lidar it's right down here you can make out a few ridges some patterns here right underneath the ground from overhead you can just barely see it let's take a look at what this place used to look like here here is what LIDAR revealed. Looks like there is one big structure right here, but none of these go over, say, 40, 45 feet high. But there is a grid formation, a huge city here. Make out a few things here. There is a large structure right there, obviously. It says a peninsula jutting into Guatemala's Lake Batan is the site of the ancient Mayan city of Nixtun Cheech. Our time can cover up a lot of things. It says buildings and streets, pew, hadn't noticed before began emerging from the data and when he started piecing together a new more complete picture of Nick's Toon Cheech a striking pattern jumped out at him the city's buildings were arranged in straight lines like the structures on a modern city block major streets ran almost exactly east-west with the shorter north-south avenues intersecting them at nearly perfect 90 degree angles it was un unmistakable Nick's Toon Cheech was laid out on a grid, an urban form so unusual in Mesoamerica that Pew and Rice had never even thought to look for it. Pew then realized that the paths he had been following through the grass weren't originally created by grazing cattle. The animals were walking along ancient streets, and he had been too. It says, for years, archaeologist Timothy Pew thought he was simply following the cows as he walked across the site of Mixtun Cheech, an ancient Mayan city in northern Guatemala, the site whose name means roughly a rocky place is located on a peninsula that juts out like a pointed finger into Lake Pitanitsa. It is now part of a cattle ranch covered with tall grass, perfect grazing land. Most of the other mine sites in the area are obscured by dense thickets of jungle. So this was a lucky break for Pew and his colleagues. Here's a look from overhead. You see once you get below the grass here, these ruins start appearing. A lot of stuff below the grass here, but obviously pretty important city. Here are some artifacts found at the site. They think this place got going around the pre-classic period, around a little over 2,500 years ago, kind of a transition period from the Olmecs to the Mayans. But here's another look from the site. Pyramid here, not a very large one, but totally covered up. What that looks like might be pretty interesting. Down on ground level, little rises in the earth here probably don't mean much, but when you get overhead, like a lot of sites, you can really make out what's below the ground. LIDAR was the key to mapping out the whole city and figuring out what's exactly here. Many things were found here. Here are some pottery found at the site. One interesting thing proposed by the researchers here, they talk about Palenque, famous Mayan city. They describe glyphs there, specifically describe this creature as a crocodile with a hole in its back. According to the myth, the god slit its throat and the torrent of blood, the earth was created from its body. When Rice imagined the peninsula of Nixtun Cheech as a crocodile sliding into the lake, the grid suddenly took on new meaning. Scales, she thought, the regularly spaced city blocks were the crocodile scales. The cenote was the hole in the back of the sacred crocodile whose body would form the world. A defensive wall lined with a ditch that runs a thousand feet north to south near the eastern tip of the peninsula could have represented the gash the gods made in the crocodile's neck. I have talked about how natural land formations were considered kind of sacred and symbolic by cultures from ancient America. Is this peninsula? Did they think of this as a crocodile from some of their myths? Well, certainly interesting to think about. I have talked about crocodiles and the Mayans before. Here is a ceramic brick, they call it, coming from a Mayan site not too far away. This was a pretty interesting story. This grid layout really didn't catch on in the Mayan world. This is a pretty unique site. Most sites are kind of sprawled out in the jungle. This one right on the peninsula. Did that represent anything? Well, that's up for further speculation, I guess. Here's another brand new article. Largest and oldest Mayan monument discovered with LIDAR. 
I guess there is some debate about the oldest and all that. Imaging work really was impressive that they did here. Things I never saw before. Large city laid out in a grid-like system. This place was originally discovered in 1995 and mapped out, but they thought with the new improvements and LIDAR and some other things, they should relook at this site. And this huge Mayan city was detected here when new LIDAR work was done. So that is a video coming from Guatemala, a Mayan city. What's actually here detected through LIDAR work. Always fascinating to look at that. That is a place where there are probably many ruins yet to be discovered down here. We have many ancient Mayan cities in this part of the world. Probably a lot still to be found. Hope you thought that was interesting. And you all have a very safe day.